What's up, people? It's your boy MM2K back again with another audio. Um, please bear with me because I'm doing this on my phone because I'm running errands and I'm already a mouth breather, <laughs> but uh, my allergies are at an all time high today. So I, I don't want you guys to think I'm some type of creep. Go, <gasps> but, <laughs> but I'm having a difficult time breathing today. I might take a couple of chugs of, of, my, of my tea while we're doing this. Um, so I just want to apologize for that if the quality isn't where what you're used to. All right, so I'm gonna talk about something that I normally don't jump too much on and that's um, PC gaming. Um, I wanna talk about Alan Wake 2 and the PC requirements that get everybody in a frenzy. And I get it because they don't include top tier at the time 10 series cards um, GTX cards that are that is and then they're comparable AMD equivalent um, and then CPUs around the same power tier people paid a lot of money for those uh, I want to say about what six seven maybe eight years ago they paid a lot of money to get those and their feelings are this not being supported even in the minimum specs um, is, is a shame it's a travesty because these top tier cards should be supported and even in AAA games for 10 years or more. Um, here's what I gotta say about that. When it comes to native gameplay, I disagree. Look, when it comes to AAA games particularly, we want more immersive worlds, we want better performance, and we, get, we want that rapid change. That can't happen if, we're, if, if developers are bottlenecked by old and uncapable hardware. There has to be there has to be some type of impasse somewhere. And that's where, you know, some tough decisions have to be made if we want the top of the line performances in these games and they're gonna have to make cutoffs. You can't do old and incapable. I understand if the if the cards, you know, were a problem, but there was a high saturation of them and they came out three years ago. I, I can understand that. But we're talking seven, eight years. No, I think that's too long. Um, that's too long and, and that really bottlenecks, you know, the, the growth of technology, which I'm all for when it comes to these games. I do feel it's a problem when I buy a card for a game. Let's say if I bought a card for Alan Wake 2 and a CPU for it, and then I'm getting the performance that I wanted and I paid thousands of dollars for, for those components and then six months down the line, a patch comes in with new HD packs and, and, and um, shaders and stuff like that. And now with the with the, the added stuff, it's too much for me to still get that same performance. Now that's an issue. That's an issue that needs to be addressed. Um, but, you know, expecting seven plus year old hardware that's, you know, a bottleneck to newer technology, that's a problem. Um, here's the solution though. And you, in order for you to enact the solution, you gotta first and foremost, be a leader, not a follower, and get rid of all the apprehensions that you've been force fed by the media that has an agenda and didn't do the research. NVIDIA has a AI machine learning slash cloud solution that will solve this problem for you in the name of NVIDIA GeForce Now Ultimate. With GFN Ultimate, you get top tier 1% performance um, without having to switch hardware. So on that same PC or laptop or whatever that has that 10 series GPU in it, you can get 4080 uh, RTX comparable performance there, powered by AI, machine learning, and the cloud. And it works. Digital Foundry, has done the, the analysis on it multiple times, it works. As a user, check out my channel, MM2K Gaming on YouTube. I use GeForce Now Ultimate the overwhelming majority of the time. It works, that is your solution. Because it's just not possible with native gameplay based upon the fact that the hardware just wasn't future-proofed enough for today's technology. I hope that helps. Um, check me out on Hard Knock Digital Culture on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv forward slash mightymost2000. We'll talk about this more there. But with that said, it's your boy MM2K. Till next time, have a wonderful, 
wonderful gaming day. Peace.